Java is life. As always, what is up, everybody? It is your boy Ismael Rosado, aka Sneaker Freaker, with another sneaker review for you guys, as promised on the Molder SB Highs. A lot of people, a lot of people have been waiting for this review right here. So hopefully I can deliver um, as promised. There is a lot that I want to say, and I'm gonna keep it very short, simple, and sweet. So let's get right into it. First is first, you got your box, your typical standard Nike SB box. Nothing special, as we all know about that right there. There's a label right there, Nike SB Dunk High TRD Quick Strike. Retails 110, the colorway is white, Orion blue, white on white. Now, first things first, I will say I am a huge fan of the colorway Orion blue. I've been a fan of it since the New York Blazers back in 2003 or two. I didn't Google the information, sorry, but Ever since that blazer, I've been a huge fan of the colorway because it's a colorway that doesn't get used very often. Um, you have royal blue, you have team blue, but very rarely do we have Orion blue. Why not use it on a simple sneaker like the Molders? Um, Nike SB has been doing a great job with giving us older SBs into newer renditions, if you will. Uh, and so far, they've done a great job with it. You know what I mean? Just the only thing they lack on is quality. These right here, I don't own molders, so I really can't tell you how the quality is, but comparing 2002 with 2017, you really can't compare um, quality, because as we all know, the quality isn't as it used to be. Nonetheless, they do a great, great job with implementing that wonderful leather. First things first, let's get into a brief review, and I'm gonna pretty much, uh, dissect on the things that I think they should have done a lot better. First things first, the insole. You've got the insole to match the sneaker. As we all know with the older SB models, um, SB has given us a different colorway on your insole, like your Sharks, like the Denims, like the uh, Molders, and so on and so forth. It should have been a yellow insole. That it wasn't. It's a white insole with the Orion Blue. Nike SB Zoom Air. Here are your laces factory laces that came with uh, the white and the second set of laces were the orion blue which i get to in a minute now let's get on with the sneakers there is uh the right shoe not that it matters here is the left shoe right here let me move the camera down a little bit to focus on the shoes and not my face <laughs> so here they are right here and I took the liberty of releasing both sneakers for you guys because I know you guys liked that in my last review right there. So nonetheless, to give you guys a better look at the lacing options, if you will. And me being a plain and simple guy, I think I'm gonna go with the white. I think the white really works really well, in my opinion. And there are the bottoms. Er, are the bottoms. <laughs> All right, so the white, it's, to me, it's a go. The blue kind of uh, makes the shoe a little bit loud, in my opinion, and I like simple, I like plain, white is the way to go. So basically, on your whole upper, you have two materials. You have a really nice leather, and you have mesh. So first is first on your bottom, you got the all white bottom, with the Orion file on hit right there in the middle. Work your way up, you have a white midsole with white stitching. I'm very, very glad they didn't go with contrast stitching. And then your upper consists of this really, really soft leather right there, as you can see. When you press on it, it kind of like crinkles up, whatever. That's very, very nice. Um, and as far as the fit goes, I'd say go true to size. I'm gonna and a half to a nine. But um, when it comes to these TRD releases, I'm going to go with my true size of an eight and a half. When it comes to newer Nike SBs, like the Zooms or whatever, I'm going to go with a size nine. Just because the fit is just a lot, lot better. Got the Orion Blue swoosh right there. Orion Blue on your heel tab right there. You have mesh on your ankle cup right there and just below your heel tab. And then that mesh also works its way around your tongue. White Nike SB tag, Nike SB Dunk High Pro Station Orion Blue. Got the same mesh along the ankle interior right there. And of course, you got your white terry cloth behind your tongue. All in all, I'll give these shoes a four out of a five. 
Um, just a very simple and plain sneaker, in my opinion. It, to me, it works very, very well. Um, again, the fit is where it's at, in my opinion. That shoe right there as well. These shoes look phenomenal on foot. When I uh, relate them, you know, to my standard or whatever, uh, they fit really well, and that's when I fell in love with them a lot, lot more. So. With all that being said, let's do an on-foot review of these shoes right now, and I'm gonna come back with an outro. Alright, so that's my review on the Richard Mulder SB Highs. Slated to release sometime in May. So check the local skate shops, resellers, sneakers at, or even eBay. Um, what do you guys think about these? Is it is it a pass? Is it a cop? Is it a drop? Is it a eh, maybe? Is it I have molders, so I'm gonna pass on these. Um, if you were to pick the laces, which would you pick? White? Or blue again my personal opinion white I think the swoosh and the contrast and hit on your tongue tab in my opinion just bring out the blue a lot better and just plain is just the way to go in my opinion at least um, what's the biggest gripe on that the insole um, do you think you should have uh, included the OG insole the lace bag what are your thoughts chime down below let me know what you guys think about these shoes and again, thank you all for tuning into my videos as always. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all for your support as always. Let me uh, take a sip of my Java. As we all know, Java is life. And I will talk to you all on the next episode, which will be up whenever I get a new pickup. Not knowing when that will be. I'm gonna debate on the quote unquote Space Jam, Galaxy SB lows or whatever. I'm just I'm still contemplating on those right there. But nonetheless, my latest pick up, Motor Highs. I'll talk to y'all on the next episode. All right, it's Boy Sneaker Freaker signing off. Peace.